how do you add a custom font to Kajabi? In this video, I'm gonna walk you through um, a couple of different ways in which you can add custom fonts to your Kajabi website so that you can have things like headings in different fonts and things like that. Even if you don't have access to the pro account and the code editor for Kajabi. Stay tuned. Okay, so I know we all look up to different people in um, our niches and online and their businesses, and some of them have amazing looking websites that have some wild and wacky fonts or some nice handwriting fonts on there, and we want it for our business. If we're using Kajabi out of the box inside the um, style settings where we can select fonts, there's not actually that many kind of handwriting fonts. And the one um, question that comes up time and time again um, for people that I can help and I can serve is how to add custom fonts. So this video is gonna walk you through it. So out of the box, this is what a Kajabi website might look like if you use the standard website theme and this is like the streamlined home theme. And you know, if we wanna change some of these headings and some of these things, we can do that inside our um, custom theme builder. So inside our Kajabi account, if we go to website, then we can absolutely if we go to website, this is a brand new Kajabi account, so there's nothing else in here at the moment. Then we can click this customize button and it will open up the editor. I've already got it open, so it saves time in terms of loading. Now, if we wanna change these heading fonts, then what we do is we go over to settings and then we go over to style guide and we scroll down and we've got body font, heading font. Now, like I said, inside the heading font, there is a selection of fonts and really there's probably only one maybe i think there's two that kind of look a little bit handwriting ish so if i pick this one and click save i can't even read what it says for me this one is like a little bit too scripty um we've then got another one which is up here which again i think you know I'm not a massive fan of these kind of scripted fonts anyway. Um, you can obviously change the font weight of this. Um, I'm just changing the, the heading font here and then obviously the weight and clicking save. So you can see this is one way that we can start to do it. Now, if we found a font, say for instance on Google Fonts that we want to include, Google Fonts is great for us to be able to do this but what you'll notice is that if you change this heading font here, it's gonna change all the headings on your page. So if we scroll down on this page now, you'll see not only this being a heading one, but all of these other headings on the page have changed. Now, for me, sometimes I just wanna change the heading one or the heading two so that I can keep a style within my website that makes it really work. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change this back to our trusty Montserrat font for all of our headings so that we can see that this heading one is there and all of these other headings are the same. Now, I'm going to use a Google font now to change my heading one. And it requires a little bit of coding and a little bit of um, understanding to be able to do this. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do it here on the, and I'm gonna try and zoom in so you can see my coding. And if you, um, either in the comments of this video or below this video, I'll give you the exact code that, that I'm kind of using as well. So what I'm gonna do is first of all, I'm gonna go over to Google Fonts and here I found this font. So this caveat font um, is something that I probably would wanna use. If you go to literally fonts.google.com, you can literally start to search. So all, all I did was I searched handwriting. I had a quick look. Um, can I find caveat? There we go. There's the caveat font. And then what I've done is I've selected a particular style that I wanna use. And then over on the right hand side, this little menu thing pops up. What we need to do is we need to take some of the code that's here and add it to our website. So if we click import, that's the best option that we can use because what this will do is it will import the font file into your website to make the load speed quicker and all of those kind of things. And I need to copy this code here and I need to code this into my website theme. So where do I code it? 
if I don't have access to the code editor? Well, I'm still in the page editor here. I'm gonna to go to settings, and then I'm gonna to go to custom code. This allows me to put some CSS, which is styling, and some JavaScript code into my website theme. And this in CSS code is where we're gonna put it. So I'm just gonna make, you can make this box bigger on Google Chrome. So I'm gonna go back to my Google fonts. First, I'm going to copy this style declaration, which brings the font information through. And I'm just gonna paste it in here. But what I need to do is remove where it says style and style because this will automatically get wrapped in those style tags. So I've, I've got that there. The second thing is I need the CSS rule here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this and this is where a little bit of coding understanding of how CSS coding works is needed. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say for all of my heading one tags, which is my main heading ones, which is H1 in coding, I want this rule. So what we need to do is type H1. We need curly brackets. And then we need to define the style by pasting in what we copied from Google. This now, when I click save, will change where it says all the tools needed to build a successful online business to this font. So let's do it. Let's see what happens. And there it's done. So what it's actually done is it's changed the heading one to this custom font that I wanted. And all of the other headings in here have stayed the same. If I want, like for instance, a heading two tag to also be this way, I just need to make sure that I've got a heading two defined somewhere in the page. So let me go here. I'm gonna select this heading and I'm gonna make sure that this is a heading two, which it is. I'm gonna go back to the custom code section and here where I've got my heading one defined for this font, if I wanna add heading two to it as well, all I need to do is comma H2. And so that's gonna define the heading twos as well. So if I click save, let the page refresh, you can see that heading one is still that font, which is great. And if I scroll down, you can now see that heading twos all down the page are also featuring this font as well. So there's lots of ways that you can use Google Fonts to change the fonts. Now, what if we want to do this in a landing page, not our website theme? Well, it's exactly the same in a landing page. If I go here to a landing page, so this is the coming soon page, and I go to settings and custom code, I've got these options again. So all I need to do is make sure that I've got these headings defined on the page. And this coming soon is a heading one, okay? So I can go back to that custom code. So I'm in my landing page, settings, custom code. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip over to my website editor. I'm gonna copy that code that I put in there and I'm gonna paste it in here. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy that I'm gonna paste it in here. And then I'm gonna click save. And then voila, once the page reloads, the font is then changed. So that is how we use the Google fonts to be able to do what we wanna do. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna delete the code in here so that we've got kind of a blank start in these custom CSS sections, both on the website theme and on the landing page. Because now what I want to do is I wanna show you how you can add a custom font. If you've got the font file, um, and this would either be a WAF, a WAF2 or a true type font. And if you've purchased a font and you've got license to use it, then that's brilliant. The, the licensing on fonts is crucial. You need to make sure you've got the license to be able to use it on your website. If you've got a licensed font and you've got the font files and you wanna use them on your web and it's either WAF or WAF2 or TrueType, there is a way in which you can add this into your website without having access to the custom code. So how do you do that? Well, the way that I would do that is I would, in my website, I would create a landing page and I'd just call it assets page. 
The reason for this is so that I can then upload to this page elements and files that would then be stored in the Kajabi system that I can reference on other pages. So if you ever wanna upload something like an image and you wanna have it linked on a page somewhere rather than actually upload the image, or in this case, I wanna upload some font files into Kajabi, but I don't have access to the custom code and theme editor for the page. This is how I can do it. So let's do this. I've got this assets page. I'm just gonna click customize. So it opens the page editor. You'll understand what kind of what I'm doing here in a moment. So what I want to do is I've got this true type font. It's called Hello Keta. Um, it's a font that I've got a license for and I want to use on my website. So how do I add it? Well, here's the trick. I'm going to go in. I'm going to add a section. Um, oh, what I want to do is in this section, I want to add some content. I want to add a call to action button. So this assets page is just a landing page where I've deleted everything. I've got one section um, that I've just called assets page. So I've added this custom call to action. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write the name of my font. Hello, Keta font file. And in brackets, I'm just going to put TTF so I know that it's a true type font. I'm going to ask the action for this call to action button to be to download a file. It will all become apparent in a moment. I'm gonna pick my file and I've got it here. So I'm just gonna drag it over so that it uploads. And so it's Hello Keta D990X TTF. I'm gonna upload. Once the file has been uploaded, I'm just gonna hit save. And now what this has done is it's put this file into the cloud. It's put this file into the Kajabi system so that I can reference it. And the way that I reference it is just by previewing the page. So I'm just going to click the preview icon, preview the page. And now I've got my assets. So I've got this button here, which if I click it, it's going to download that font file. That's where I need to start. Now, to be able to code this custom font into my site, I need to follow a similar kind of pattern that I did by using the Google font, but I need to use some extra other code. And I'm gonna zoom in again, or I'm gonna show you on screen, and I'm also gonna make it available under these, this video so you can copy and paste this code. So if you're not used to code, if you're not used to this kind of thing, then what I would just do is just follow the instructions and try it for yourself. And obviously you can delete what you do if you make a mistake or whatever. But all really I need you to do is just kind of copy and paste, okay? So below this video, there will be this information. So my font is a true type font. So effectively, I need to define what is, I need to define the font and then I need to use a style. So similar to Google, where we needed to import the font file, this at font face defines the font file for us and I've uploaded it. So all I need to do is reference it. So if I go back to my assets page, and instead of clicking on this button with my left click, if I right click and I copy the link address, that's gonna copy the link of that font file that I've uploaded. I'm gonna come back here, and where I've got this X's, I'm just gonna delete, and then I'm gonna paste. So you can see, it's uploaded it to the kajabi.com resources, blah, 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 hello kitter.ttf. There's the font. And then I've got true type font at the end. So I'm going to change font name here. I'm going to change it to hello Keta. And I'm just going to make sure I've got it defined here as well. Hello Keta. Okay. So now this code here is where I need to copy and paste into here. So this was the page, so I've gone into settings, custom code in my landing page, and you can do this in settings, custom code in your website theme. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paste in that code. And this is defining the font for me and telling H1 to be Keta. If I click save, wait for the page to reload. There we go. That Keta font is now used as my heading ones. Now, on the code elements that I've suggested, there's also a couple of extra pieces under here. If you've got, for instance, WAF or WAF2, where I put the file uploaded to Kajabi, you can see where it says format at the end, true type. If this was a WAF file, I would need to change this true type here to WAF. And if it was WAF2, then I just need to make sure that that is changed there as well. That means I can use custom fonts wherever I want on landing pages and on other pages. Now, what if I want this style to affect my entire website without having to think about doing this on each individual landing page and each individual website page? If I go back to my website here and I go back to that custom code, and I delete it from there and I save it. So my website theme is back to normal. My landing pages currently don't have any custom styles. There's one place in the Kajabi settings that you can do this that will affect your entire website to find those styles. So if I'm on my Kajabi settings, which is down on the bottom left, I click settings, I click site details, I can scroll down to page scripts. If I then paste the code that I've put in there, and this time I do need to put style at the front and at the back end. So it's these um, triangular bracket, style, close triangular bracket, open triangular bracket, forward slash, style triangular bracket. Again, this code is just pasted below. I'm putting this into my page scripts here on settings. This is now gonna affect all the heading ones, and let's just do heading two as well, just so that we can see it, on my entire website. I'm gonna click save. Now, this is the website theme. This was the landing page theme. If I just click save just to refresh this, you can see it's now affected the font. If I click save, it's now affected that font and my heading two font on the page. So if you put it into site details, it will affect all of your pages on your site. So for me, they're the ways in which you can use a custom font in your website to be able to do it using Google fonts or even uploading fonts. And even if you don't have access to the code editor. Thanks for watching this video. If you've got any comments or questions, make sure that you ask them of me. I'm always here to help. I look forward to catching up with you again next time. Bye for now.